Hello friends, my name is Madhuk Mohan Tyagi and uh, today we will discuss how to develop REST API in KPHP 3.x. Previously I have developed video in uh, two videos REST API in KPHP 2.x and uh, in active MQ in PHP. There are uh, people who are viewing this video and facing their problems and I am solving the problem and I helping how to create REST API in KPHP with this help. So I, have I am developing this video to help the lovers of KPHP 3. We will use this documentation to develop the REST API in KPHP 3. This is the controller and uh, we will use the resource root uh, to set setting for the root.php when you will click this link you will redirect on this page and we will copy paste this setting code in roots.php and inside the top of this function and uh, remember that uh, you will not place this code uh, uh, downside here otherwise you will be in trouble you must copy paste this code on the top always remember this this code must be here We will start how to develop REST API in KPHP 3. Copy paste this code from here and create new file and paste it here. need to save this with the name recipes controller recipes controller and change the folder inside src controller recipes controller dot php Now I am testing my code. I have already installed KPHP 3. You can manually install like uh, KPHP 3.x or by using uh, Composer. I have already installed it. Now we will run my code. Okay. This is error. It must be error because some line of code is missing, which is not mentioned in KPHP documentation. Go to the example tutorial example and log tutorial part 3 then you will come on this page and go to the bottom you will find a line of code and copy paste this code on top of the recipes controller Test it again. Wow, it's working fine. The 
that's good. Now, what about the XML view? If you want to view the XML view, then change the code like this and place dot JSON instead of JSON dot XML instead of JSON. Wow, this is an XML view. Now the type one square code JSON view. documentation says that this is not a correct view because it's still here and uh, if you want to debug the rest of code in a professional manner then you need rest bracket if you are code and it is many proper views you are uh, not properly placing the dot keyword and uh, we have used five seconds now we will show the what is rest client. Rest client is an extension and you can easily install it. This is advanced rest client, this is the extension. Then you will click the option for connect. Directs on the page. Now click the rest and copy paste this line and paste it here.